All eyes this afternoon will be on the Los Angeles Clippers and not for the team's playoff game against Golden State, but instead for the players' reaction to racist comments made by the team's owner. It bothers me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. And that's just one of the racially charged comments made by Donald Sterling that has sparked a firestorm. The conversation between Sterling and his girlfriend was posted on TMZ, and many fans are calling for a boycott. President Obama even addressed the issue this morning during his tour of Asia. When, when ignorant folks want to advertise their ignorance, you don't really have to do anything. You just let them talk, and, and that's, that's what <laughs> happened here. Now, the Clippers have issued a statement saying Sterling emphatically denies that he holds the views and sentiments expressed on the recording. The NBA is now investigating. Well, music is in the air this morning in New Orleans. Have a listen. The city's annual Jazz and Heritage Fest in full swing, but it's more than just jazz. Some of this year's big headliners include Eric Clapton, Santana, Fish, and Robin Thicke. Organizers say all the great tunes visitors expect will be there, but there is something a little different this year. The 2014 Jazz Fest also celebrates Native Americans through art and music. Well, what can you expect when you head outside this weekend? Leah Steinberg has the weekend weather forecast. <laughs> Leah, you're in front of uh, Yosemite, it looks like. It is. It is a gorgeous morning. Well, vintage engines rumbling across the fairgrounds have brought out thousands of people this weekend, but today is your last chance to catch all the action. 23 ABC's Leslie Marine is live from the Kern County Fairgrounds with more on what's happening at the 38th Annual Western Street Rod Nationals. Good morning, Leslie. All right, Leslie, thank you so much for that. And speaking of cars, a local NASCAR driver is sporting a big bruise this morning after a heated run-in with a fellow racer. The whole thing was caught live on camera. There's some actual shoving going on. There's a punch, a swing. And that right there is Bakersfield's Casey Mears on the receiving end of a punch thrown by Marcos Ambrose. Both men scuffled at the end of last night's NASCAR race in Richmond. Ambrose and Mears traded paint in the final laps, with Ambrose finishing in 18th and Mears in 19th place. NASCAR's vice president of competition says he's reviewing the matter. Joey Logano finished in first place. Coming up on 23 ABC News, building stronger ties as President Obama continues his four-country Asian tour this morning. The tragedy that's bringing the U.S. and one of those nations even closer.